Hi, everybody. Today, Hi. so for Christmas, David got me this awesome Belgian waffle maker that you see over here. Yeah, let's take a look. Anyway, the um, so today I'm going to be making some homemade Belgian waffles. Yum, delicious. Okay, I'm not going to worry about the toppings. I'm just going to get started with some Belgian waffles. Pretty right. cool waffle maker, Sarah. Look at that. Yeah. Nice. Have everything I need. The first thing that you actually need is something I already have, which is an awesome egg separator. This handy dandy device is called an egg separator. So it's a way to separate the yolks and the whites. Great. Okay, that's pretty cool. Uh, so you're going to take egg, which she's going to grab out of the, uh, the refrigerator. And I'm going to move the camera over a little bit so we're on the screen. There we go. Audio is not stable. Okay, we've got audio glitches going on in the system. Hold on just a second. Checking my settings. We're on the Realtek microphone. Uh, let's try the uh, USB 2.0 microphone. Okay, we have a different microphone now. Uh, can you hear us? Okay. Uh, testing one, two, three. No, they can barely hear me over there. That's weird. Uh, maybe just go. That's worse, yeah. Much better? No, worse. That's worse. Let's reset the audio and uh, adjust for a certain loudness. Let's see. Let's go to the uh, real tech. Volume range, I'm going to drop to, say, 85. Apply that, see if it makes any difference. And let's go to mono mix, average left and right. Apply that. Okay, what do we, what do you think? Any better? Testing one, two, three. Yeah, this one is good. Better, much better. Thank you. I went with 85% volume because the other one was too hot, I noticed on the recording. So now we're kind of dialing in our technology on Technology Thursday. Hi, everyone. There we go. Fantastic. All right, can you see the bowl or no? Yeah. Um, we can uh, take a look at the bowl right here. I can actually, I can be your, your camera holder. We're looking at a All big right, bowl so right here. The first thing we're going to do is get some dry ingredients together. And it's two cups of flour. Two cups of flour. The mic is good right now. It, it seems to be picking up very well. Uh, we're, we dress in black traditionally when making the Belgian waffles. It's important to, to know. It dates back to the uh, the Belgium uh, history. I, I don't think that's true, but that's okay. I'm just making that up, but I thought that would be appropriate to, as an answer as to why we're both wearing black. Yeah. Because we want to. Oh, nobody likes that answer. It's, it's in memory of the Belgian waffle uh, original king who created the Belgian waffle, which we don't really know about. What do they call Belgian waffles in Belgium? I don't know. Waffles. I don't know. <laughs> waffles. Delicious. You know more about this than I do, Sarah, so. I don't have any dirty fingernails. I, I, I give myself a manicure they're every day. What? No, they're talking about me. All right. Four teaspoons of baking powder. Four teaspoons. Four teaspoons of baking powder. Passing that on. I love this fisheye lens. It's kind of wild. It's like, wow. Let me set it down. I like this baking powder because it has that flat, this flat thing. Oh, yeah. I like that. It, we use these spoons I inherited from my mother in 1972. Yeah. You get used spoons. They're good, and we get use, use out of them. In fact, most of the things in David's kitchen are either old or really new. Yeah. Thank you. I bought her a four carat diamond, uh, uncut. Actually, I didn't buy it. I was inherited. It was in my family since the 1920s, so I thought I'd give her something. I know. I love old things, but I love new things too. So four teaspoons, flat table tablespoons or teaspoons? Teaspoons. Teaspoons. You flat don't teaspoons. Make baking. That mistake. Don't make the tablespoon mistake, or it'll taste really uh, acidic and weird. Just a dash of salt. Half a teaspoon of salt. I'll even do light salt. 
No, I believe I, I don't, I think that's wrong. Where to beat that statement? I know. Well, I'm known as David Spoonheim, but you can call me David Sponheim for obvious reasons. In Norway, it's pronounced Spoonheim. So, spoons are very important in my family. We created the spoon in Germany. And uh, there by the, there, ergo the name Spoonheim. Yes, we're the originator. And I, I don't make money off of that either. No residual income off the spoons you use. Having a great day. We've technologically. Quarter cup of sugar. Quarter cup of sugar. Okay. That's what makes it delicious. Uncut diamonds. Delicious sugar. Quarter cup. Now, this recipe calls for how much flour? Do you know? Two cups of flour. Two cups of flour, quarter cup of sugar, and four level teaspoons of baking powder. Not baking soda, mind you, baking powder. All right, I'll get David to set doing what you need. It's just David's going to be mixing this up with a fork. Great. I will get the fork out. Or I'm you trying. could, or you could um, do the edge. This is the traditional Belgium fork that we have for stirring. This is a standard issue fork from 1946. Reading chat. Hang on. I, I'm, I'm getting some criticism in the chat, and I haven't seen my, my mod in here yet to, to knock that out. I don't have a, a tattoo on my right hand. Neither do I. We don't believe in tattoos. I have a birthmark when I was a young little boy. I have a couple little birthmarks. I like my old waffle tube maker better, but we're, we're not going to complicate today because if I make the other waffle maker, that's more cleanup, and I'm not going to compete with Sarah's Belgian waffles, but I will be adding uh, maybe a little blueberries and walnuts to try some of my waffles with special things. I've, I've tried blueberries and walnuts together, and they're incredible. When you add them in the wall, in the actual uh, waffle, it becomes like a meal unto itself. Hey, uh, I hope none of you are upset that I'm talking. I'll let Sarah talk. Okay, so I'm using my egg separator here. Mm -hmm. Now she set the yolk in the egg separate. If you want to move it up to the camera, you can see, they so can see it. This, you got your egg yolk cut down. Are your whites down below, right and then on top is that beautiful little egg yolk. The egg sits at the top. Now, you're going to make uh, something special because uh, your goal is to actually get the egg yolk separated from the white, and you're going to do something with the white that's going to make this a Belgian waffle. Makes it unusual. She the milk, and... I look happier doing this show to, instead. No, that's just because I'm not into it for four hours every night. You understand, I do a show for five hours, plus a four-hour uh, online interactive chat with you for the past nine years. No human being has ever done anywhere near as much as I've done in interactive communication online. Sarah and I are the golden age of uh, video chat. You're watching it right now in recorded history. Many of you are watching this in the year 2030, and I'm glad you made it through the, the war with North Korea and survive the nuclear blast that Donald Trump wants to start off. You probably know that our country had to expurge the Russian influence from America by now, get ahead of the, uh, the dialogue on world peace by creating fresh water to solve the world's problems. You probably already know by 2030 that I'm the person who's going to make all that happen. Now, if I was a cyborg, I wouldn't be able to walk around so fluently in, in this room without any any kind of mechanical motion. As you can see, most of my motions are completely fluid. Okay, you're doing what? What with the egg yolk? Put the egg yolk separate. The, uh, now I'm going to mix those wet ingredients. Two egg yolks. And two cups of milk. Teaspoon of vanilla. So two cups of milk and two cups of flour and a teaspoon of vanilla. And four teaspoons flat of baking so baking powder. powder. Thank you. And the milk, a quarter 
Uh, I mean, one cup of milk? No, two. Two cups of milk. So two cups of milk, four, four cups of flour. Two cups of milk. Wait. No, uh, it's getting confusing. Two cups of flour and one cup of milk. Two cups of flour, two cups of milk. Two cups of milk, two cups of flour. Okay. The flour is pre-organic. It was uh, originally developed in the, uh, I believe, the 1990s. The flour was before the use of uh, genetically modified wheat, and uh, minimal pesticides were used during that time period. I re I know I was there. Most of the wheat across the country was unsprayed up until 1999. Yeah, they started spraying heavily, and then they started genetically modifying the wheat. What happened? Oh, it's a slimy S word. She's using the S word. That's very unusual. That's why I don't like slime. Yes, slimy. slimy. Ew. Okay. Okay, I'm going to keep an eye on Sarah. I'm not going to talk to you people. Yeah, I don't want to talk to you people. Just go watch Sarah. I'm just going to watch Sarah. That's the best thing. Watch it, Sarah. We are. Uh, we're using our Y2K flour. That's part of the reason why I got the waffle maker for Sarah, because I said we still have six pounds of Y2K flour we have to use up, Sarah. So, yeah, we bought it in 1998. It was harvested in 1996. The 1951 uh, Presto waffle, waffle iron, I can get out, but I'd have to bend over to do that, and that's too much energy. According to Donald Trump, uh, we're only given so much energy on this planet and uh, if he exercises, he said, you end up using it all. So your illustrious leader has suggested that you don't exercise and you eat fast food because you're only given a certain amount of energy, he said. So he's conserving on it. I'm not kidding. He really did say that. Expired Food Net, welcome. Hello, David. We would like to showcase your cooking segment on our network, the Bizarre Foods category. We think we would be a good fit. Yeah, go for it. I mean, you can take our site and multicast it right now in various languages. Feel free. That's good oil. That's Calavet, Galavidi extra virgin olive oil. Now, folks, there is a scam going on right now. Multiple olive oils have been mixed with canola oil. And you've got to check to make sure your olive oil. So look up your brand name of olive oil and then look up canola oil mix next to it and see if it comes up. Because if it does, then you, you've got canola oil. Welcome. Hi. I'm the king of Vaughn. Yes, thank you. I'm also the king of other networks, too. I'm, the, I'm sure the molecular structure of the 1996 wheat means zero nutrition. Far from it, no. Carbohydrates tend to remain intact for centuries. There is no dangerous effect of eating an older wheat. As long as there aren't any wheat bugs in there, you can, tr can completely contaminate it. If you're your wheat is bug free, it's still safe. Oh, don't, don't worry about that. That doesn't even have to be there. I don't even know why it was there. And it's just a, a white board. A teaspoon of vanilla. Can you touch my face? Brush my hair out of my Yeah. Sarah's had some, she had some hair in her face and I just got moved it out of there. Jesus, are you very religious? Yes, I can see you are, Jesus. I don't have anything like that. No, I have a really good diet. In fact, I consider my, my intestinal tract built like a horse, you know, kind of a, I'm built of a, of a, of a very strong Norwegian stock. Yes, my species lasted in the, bitter cold in Norway for centuries against all, all kinds of adversity. Sarah's doing great. I'm, I'm liking everything about it. Do you preheat the waffle maker? Cool. You know, I'm going to have to mute that statement because that is, a, I would never hurt anyone, let alone the person I'm with, my goodness. I'm the only person who's been outspoken on childhood obesity. Michelle Obama really didn't do a good job. She's encouraging genetically modified food, making her a joke. I'm the one who's spoken out about getting foods back to raw foods for kids. She never even talked about that. She put up a fake garden in the back of the White House. It wasn't even organic. It's a joke. You call that trying? 
That's like trying to fit into tight underwear if you're 700 pounds overweight. You just can't do it. Lana, hello. Lana Network's got 50 million viewers. Welcome, everybody. I hope I'm not talking too loud. It's a pretty loud mic on this thing. I'm going to back off a little bit. Did I say she? I meant, I meant, yeah, I didn't mean that. Okay. Welcome, everybody. I know. Thank you. Okay, so uh, the LANA channel operator moderator wants to know how do, how do you feel about the LANA network and the 50 million viewers? I don't even know what that is. She doesn't even know what it is. Yeah. Just so you know, she's completely. Uh, uh, I'm just going to keep it. She's going to be herself and she's working on the Belgian waffles. She's not going to get sidetracked here. Uh, we bought Sarah veneers in case she ever needs them. I thought, Sarah, you know, I'm very practical. And I thought, well, you know, Sarah, it's a two for one deal on three dimensional veneers at uh, a certain company that sells them. And I could have gotten lowers for the. I'll take it up. They've always put these things on here. It's kind of a. Usually they're attached to the cord. Well, I'm using my new um, gift that David got me. Yeah, this is the Cuisinart tool. We got a Cuisinart waffle maker and a Cuisinart whisker. Whisker. It's actually the very first version of this was made by a company called, called Bamix. It's probably good. Yep, and Bamix came out with this in 1975, the technology. But it's been perfected in this Cuisinart, and it works really, really good. You can, uh, you can fromage, frabe, flamant, fuma, and you can even fichu with this whisker. I'm making, up, that, making up new names as I go along. Obviously. Sorry. You could whisk it. And you could whisk it. And spushu usha. You can also whirly whirly with it. All right, here we go. Let's try this. Right. Good brand, yeah. Well made. It'll last at least 10 years, hopefully. Shows a secret service man. Yeah, forget about the okay. secret service guy. No. He's They're trying to I, stop our show. I don't know how to do it. Let me try. It's probably going to lock it. So you have to press the lock. Oh, hang on. Remember that light I was going to throw out? Oh, it's because you did that. And then you It'll that. work now. Light's fine. I shouldn't have thrown it out. There you go. You don't do it in one of these shows. That's pretty cool the way it does it. get there. I'm just going to hold it for you. So this is our kitchen. It's a pretty nice kitchen, I'll tell you. we got it, got it made the shade. Now. Check out my kitchen over here. These appliances right here were, uh, were only $10 for this. $16 for that. What happened? Is it not locked in? Let me do it. Okay, this is not working. Oh, I know, I know. Oh, she wants to do it herself. I just let
So you know what usually I do is I but I don't think it's needed I think that's good. What about a little maple syrup in the mix? Um artificial sugar and maple syrup. Do you want to put maple syrup in? I don't think so. Okay, no problem. I think we're gonna just go with this. Now basically what she's doing is she's building a loft. A lot of loft. Gotta add you got to add air to your eggs. Now, there's an easy way to do this. And I'm going to give you a secret right now that only the Belgian waffle people uh, were allowed to talk about in the ancient times. You can see that? Oh, yeah, they can see it now. Take a look. Okay, now I can add my milk. This is milk and eggs and vanilla okay. and oil. Welcome, okay. Times Square. Good to see you. I'm, I'm David Spanot. I want to tell you that. Uh, the secret, and this is from my, my great uncle, or no, one of my uncles actually made, made Belgian waffles with cottage cheese as opposed to whipping up egg whites. Now, it's, they're That's not... That's a way to create, you know, creamy, dense waffles. Well, it creates lift, too. Creamy, he, he's dense. Creamy, dense, but lift. Because you're looking for a lift to get the Belgian waffle effect. So you can do it with egg whites. You could try cottage cheese, but I think that's kind of dry. But I wouldn't. I would probably go with a low-fat cottage cheese if I were to inject air in them. What are you crazy? Yeah, that's the whole idea. That's well, no, no, no. I know, but I mean, I'm, there's people. I can see people with needles there injecting air in their waffles. I, that's just ridiculous. Nitrogen waffles inflated. Thank you so much for admiring my teeth. Yeah, these are three D uh, press-on veneers, and they look great, don't they? But anyway, Sarah has a pair in case she ever needs them. I have uh, the pair and I use them because I'm, as you know, older than Sarah. So My normal tupper, upper teeth look fine, but they're just not white. They're yellow because I was a victim of tetracycline abuse by my doctors when I was young. They used to give tetracycline to kids who had flus back in the day, and it oftentimes took the enamel off of people's teeth. So I have a 50% reduction in enamel on my teeth. That's what my dentist told me. So one of the things they do is that they acne. Yeah. All right, let's. So they use it for acne. Yeah. The waffle maker now. Oh. They do say to put in a little bit of honey. Okay, good. And we've got the atomizer. Let's show everybody the atomizer up here. That's a really good thing. You can get these for about three ninety nine on sale or seven ninety nine not on sale. All right, let me see where is the waffle maker. Plugging in the waffle maker. Sarah picked up this uh, fisheye gla uh, camera and she said, hey, David, use this fisheye camera because the other one was failing us. But uh, yeah, they use tetracycline for uh, acne for young people. But if you overdose on it, you can get a reduction in enamel in your teeth. And I, that's what happened to me. No, those atomizers are totally safe. Did you hear about the guy that got killed filling up his tire? It was crazy. Some guy was loading his tire up. Uh, I think it was uh, Texas or something, but he, he was filling his tire up and it blew out and it killed him. Yeah. Hello, Scissor Fight. Welcome. We don't talk about our personal life. Uh, it's all going to be documented in a, a detailed uh, book, I'm sure, someday. Somebody will sit down with Sarah and talk about her meeting with me and, and our first all encounters. All right, we're going to wait till it says ready and then I'll add the egg whites in here because I don't want to add soon because they don't want us to go wrong. Okay. It, I heard that Amorosa, when she got kicked out of the White House, screaming. Sorry. Amorosa is now going to write a book, she says, a tell-all. And it's going to basically get her about $10 million. Amorosa, you know, the woman that we, we love to hate on The Apprentice? I'm far from an idiot, I assure you. I'm a tested genius with an IQ of 185. But Amorosa is a, is actually a pretty smart businesswoman, and she says she's got a lot of dirt on the uh, the Trumps. So we're going to see, make sure she's okay. She's got to be under, you know, security, I'm sure. But mm -hmm. I wouldn't I wouldn't go around talking about all the dirt you have on the Trumps and then say you're going to write a book. <laughs> and you said Amorosa is going to have an accident? Oh, I hope not. 
you know, I don't mind Amorosa. She's a wild woman. But, uh, she definitely has a personality, and I like that about her. She's in your face, man. There is a word for retarded genius. Yes. You are a savant. You are an idiot savant. That's what you are. It, just call yourself an idiot savant. It'll impress the family. Hey, Mama, Dad, I'm, I'm an idiot savant. And they'll say, wow, what can you do that's so special? I learned how to make Belgian waffles with Sarah and David. Something like that. That'll go over real well. New Year's Eve is going to be wild. Uh, people are going all over the world, experiencing a, a big, biggest, never thought I'd make it to 2018. No, this is not gay talk. This is heterosexual talk. Gay talk would be more like, okay, let's talk about uh, making Belgian waffles, everybody. That's gay talk. This is heterosexual talk. With Dave oh. and Sarah. I have not made it yet. Where am I going? I might have put the oil on heat. Oh no. It didn't get preheated before the oil. That was a big, big, big mistake. We're hoping we're going to recover from this. This is. I'm going to continue talking incessantly. Hold on. Okay. Please don't interrupt my incessant talk with your question oh. about God. He never shuts up. Thank you. No, that's okay. This is my show, so I want everyone to know that I'm the only one allowed to talk. Okay. You want to talk to me, you got to talk to me, and I'll be talking incessantly throughout the rest of the show. Well, I know, Dr. Meow, it's a good way to justify your, your, your problems in life when you're, you have to call yourself a savant. I'm going to let Sarah take over the show, and you'll find out what true skinny jeans are like. Those are great skinny jeans. I love those. I mean, that's a great looking skinny jean she's got with her. Okay. If, if I didn't talk incessantly, do you think I'd have a show with 25,000 hours of recorded broadcasts on the internet right now? I think that's okay. You think? Okay. I know. Old anxiety would be great, but we don't have that. We do have an energy. Well, considering XSplit already crashed once, I'm not going to mess around. Okay, Kenny G, but they'll monetize. But that's in the car. I don't want to be monetized. What about just generic Christmas music? I can do that. I kind of like generic Christmas music. Okay. She's getting the egg whites in there. She's mixing it in. Let's take a look. Okay, so the egg whites in now. So now I get my little cup. Like enough, but we'll give it a, the first one's always a, a, the first one's always to test out the pan. Okay. I'm just gonna wipe a little oil off. Hey, if you're wondering what I'm doing, um, I was trying to catch the drone that landed inside of our house. Yay. Oh. Okay. All right, got my plate ready. And I'm going to get my. We have a house fly drone that landed in here. It's got uh, all kinds of heavy duty equipment on it. We think it could be a, 
NSA plant that came in through the front door. It was waiting by the front door when we opened it. So we are assuming it's an NSA drone. Welcome to 2017, on the verge of 2018. If you're watching our show from 2030 and you realize that I am going to be the president of the United States, I want to thank you for at least forbearing this time period where humankind is so stupid that they've allowed a corrupt man to lead our country. We have a person in here who says, David, I have terminal cancer and watching your show and I'm happy. Thank you so much. It makes, makes me feel good because I know that it's nothing worse than what you're going through right now and I really feel for you. That's sad, but hey, think positive. You never know. Always believe in, in yourself, no matter who you are or where you are. I am. I've been to Camino Island. It's a beautiful place. I don't have cancer, but you know, every, any one of us could get it at any time. I'm from the year 2030, and David, you will be president. Thank you. The beeper says that the Welch Belgian waffle is done. It's coming up. Oh, that looks perfect. Look at that. It even told you when it was done. Oh, this is the ultimate. That was the perfect amount of waffle mix, too. Look at that. Okay, she needs a little bit more. It says I don't have to uh, spray it each time. Yeah, I'm just going to do it anyway. It's the top. It's a, lot, it's a really good coat of thick listeners. Going on thick right there. Okay, that's good. Well, the, the measuring cup tells us that tells us exactly how much uh, right here. Okay, you ready? Yay! Yeah, right. Isn't that great? Oh, it's, wait. it's huge. Oh, and she turned it over. Thank you. Yeah, Belgian waffles are the best. That's why Sarah's making them. You know, Sarah, I've decided I'm not going to add my blueberry uh, component or my walnut component. Really? Yeah. I think I do blueberry. You want to break into this can and use some of these? Like the whole can? Okay, we're going to take a can of, uh, of Wyman's blueberries, manufactured in the state of Maine. And this is from our Y2K supply, and we paid a dollar fifty for this. Okay, let's go. I'm sorry, this was uh, purchased five years ago, not in our Y2K supply. I wouldn't expect it to even last that long. Here we go. We're going to open up this can of lightly sweetened, no corn syrup, Wyman's blueberries from down east, out there in Maine. We're going to pour it in there. Right. You want to strain it? Mm -hmm. yeah, she's going to take a strain. Well, Just go in and leave the juice in there. We'll make it a, a, a syrup out of it. Oh, okay. Wait. Like, oh, I got you. Just pull them out and put them in there. Yeah. She's just pulling out the mass of uh, blueberries from inside the can. No, it's pretty good. It's lightly sugared with natural sugar. And why don't you just stop criticizing our show and accept the fact that we're making the, the blueberry Belgian waffles the way we want. Nothing sad about canned blueberries. They're better than nothing, I'll tell you that. They're full of antioxidants. These are awesome. I bet. Five years old. Great, great, uh... People say my face is too animated. I don't know. What happened to Bobby? Oh, Bobby Wayne. Apricot jam? I'm going to pass on that. Thank you. We're going to flip. I'll hold it up for you. You want to do walnuts in these too? I don't know. We can do that on the next one. I flip it? Beautiful. That's perfect. Yay! Yeah. Don't want to touch the griddle, though. Well, you've already eaten one. Uh, yeah. Good. She's already eaten one. They're good, huh? Okay. They're cool. They're delicious. Okay, let me grab some uh, walnuts. Mm, I love... Well, then I have to... Then I have to mix it. Can I just uh, make one with blueberry only? Yeah, do blueberry only, and I'm going to add a few walnuts to the mix. No big deal. Just a little bit of walnuts. Not too much. I'll give me something to do. I'll press down on them and crush them. 
Hey, we've got more viewers than Anthony Bourdain ever. Thank you, UHF. Hey, guys, uh, Sarah is making a waffle uh, in the Belgian waffle maker we picked up from Cuisinart. And it was a Christmas present I gave Sarah. And it's something I, I really wanted her to experiment with. And she is really a great baker. She's so good because she's exact. She follows the recipe. And this is the first meal I've ever made. No, I'm good. I want you to do this. No, I believe you. I just, I kind of have a hard time eating things with my press out veneers in. I end up getting mush underneath my veneers. I was going to show them I don't have a problem. Oh, look at that. Mm. You want to put some uh, original maple dressing on there? Mm. Check this. Open and pull the handle to the left. Okay, we got some, uh, we got some organic maple syrup here from uh, Costco. So we're gonna put some organic maple syrup on those suckers. I'm gonna press in there real quick. I'm breaking them up with my fingers right now because they're clean. That's wonderful. Mm. We love you see eating, Sarah. Yeah. So good. She eats food. And it's not just any food. This is this is actually wheat from 1996 that we've uh Painstakingly kept in a hermetically sealed vault. Right, tell me when you're ready, because that's going to go. I got to mix that up. You want to do blueberries first? One more blueberry set, and just do the final. Okay. Because I don't think I think one more blueberry set. Okay. The walnut. Two plain. Just two big walnut. One berries. big walnut one would be good. Okay. Or two walnuts. This is like shut up, David, and help. <laughs> yeah. Hey, I'm sorry. I have to I know, speak for the I'm show. Like that. But, you know, it's kind of funny when yeah. the can't, when the David doesn't realize, but when the camera's in there, it's like, oh, here I am on camera. I should be talking. And David does that and does cooking at the same time. Usually. I do. Hey, and we now got. He's like, I don't have to cook. Sarah's cooking, so I can just talk. Hey, welcome, Gordon Ramsay's production crew's watching. Right on. Uh, we're experiencing what is called the enjoyment of cooking as opposed to That's Gordon, which turned life into hell for people that used to follow Julia Childs. All right. My God, man, pull yourself together. Here, let me hold that up for you. So right, we've that one I need a little bit of oil. Yeah, put a little oil in there. We've established that this is a two-person operation. Because i got to hold the thing up. It, would it, be, it might not be if I put it. Yeah, so we're not going to get angry at anybody and call them names like he does in the show. Thanks. Thanks, Time Pilot. My God, man, put yourself together. Piss off. Okay. That's my favorite spot, part of the clothing. Now you need the camera. Favorite part is clothing. You know, Sarah and I don't drink alcohol. And, uh, it's wonderful because we could actually do a show like this. Whereas if we were drinking, it'd be more like, Hey, Charles, can I have a glass of uh, Chardonnay? Make it a really good drink. Yeah, a, a little bit here, a little bit there. Yeah. There are a couple great uh, famous hook show stars from the 70s that used to do that. I'm tearing you apart. Thanks, Lisa. And some people drink on the shows. I've never had a... a a pension for booze. But if I were to drink, I'd drink red wine. I hear you. Yeah. We're running a fan in the background and music that you can't hear, so. I better turn that off. Hang on. Okay. Now I'm going to mix it up then. Thank you. We're going to do a nuts with the blueberries. Nuts with blueberries. Justin Wilson, I think he had a few drinks before his show, yeah. The Galloping Gourmet, he didn't hesitate. Julia Childs drank a little bit. In fact, toward the end there, she was drinking a couple glasses of wine just to get through it. I, I grew up watching Julia Child. Jacques Pepin, yeah, he was amazing. Cooking with Floyd was the most hilarious. He was the most 
uh, drunk of any guy I've ever seen. <laughs> I've got copies of the, all those tapes, by the way, of all those great cookie stars. I have a library of every cook show that ever was produced in the 1970s and 80s. I bet you didn't know that. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, look at Amber. Oh, look at you. She wants to say hi. Uh, I'm not even eating a mascara. It's so good. That is incredible. It tells you when it's done. I've got the syrup here, and oh, that awesome. that's perfect. Let me hold that for you. Oh, that's perfect. I am blown away. I'm going to spray a little bit more. Just a touch. Not a lot. Extra virgin olive oil goes by, goes a long way. Half the talking is cut off, really. No kidding. That's good, because I've been over talking. Yeah, the old man. Okay, we're going down on that. I'm going to flip it over. And this has been one of the most exciting shows ever filmed uh, in David's Cooking Kitchen. It's perfect. I love how, you know, what makes Belgian waffles. I love this Belgian waffle baker. That's yeah. That's the thing. No. I don't watch any anything like that. This is my, I love this. You're welcome, Sarah. I'm so glad I could get you something you wanted because she really, she looked at it when we were walking by it at the store and I said, yeah. And when I went back the next day and bought one, I thought it was great. Um, I'm going to look forward to uh, waffles every week. Yeah, pretty much. I'll probably make them every week because I love them so much. I know. And I'm glad you do because I really want, uh, my I have a Carbo thing going on. Uh, once a week, I, I get into Carbo's. Sunday, the day off. I, I usually like Carbo. It's my day off. That's when I don't do a show. Now, aside from talking incessantly, I've also done a show for the past nine years, talking incessantly. If you'd like to see any of my shows, just go back nine years in time and start watching. I have 25,000 hours of nonstop talk. Nice Christ mass present, Sarah. Yeah, nine years of me incessantly talking. So if you really want a, a heavy dose of it, go on into my shows and just start watching my YouTube channel. You can catch the cooking shows, and then when you're done with that, you end up, uh, you know, looking for other stuff. I've got 25,000 hours of broadcasting. You have the, that waffle maker here also. Lots of recipes online for it, Time Pilot says. There's a lot of recipes for that waffle maker. Great. Hello, Pasca. We've got 50 million people on Pasca and 50 million people on Lana. Welcome, everybody. I could impersonate the Cajun cook, but I'm not going to right now. You wear a, a coat in your house, too? Well, that's good. This is a, a fine pleather coat I picked up for $39. Marked down from $250. Uh, somebody David. you got to have me hold up. Just ask me. Say, David, help me. All right, David, help me. Thank you. Somebody says my toilet is not flushed. Are you hooked up to my smart home? Because we have a smart home, and if you... If you would know that, only if you have access to my smart home. No, my, I think my toilet was flushed automatically. It has an auto self-flush feature. Anytime there's something floating in it, flush flushes. I don't need to worry about that. I know. She almost waffled her hand, I know. The problem is she didn't say, David, could you help me? David, watch this. Or should we put a little oil? Yeah, come on. Watch this. You didn't burn yourself, right? No. Okay, good. And somebody has said you almost burned yourself on the lawn when I was totally out to lunch, ignoring your, your needs, your special needs. Don't you just hate these wires back here? But you know something? They're a lot safer than wireless technology. I would not have wireless devices in my home. I do. Absolutely. Well, aside from the cell phone, and don't put it next to your head. I know David's constantly. Rock Hudson walked by me when I was working in Santa Monica, and he was within, I'd say, two feet of me. And uh, I looked over, and I, I looked at this guy who was dying, literally. He's like, hey, how are you? No, I'm not looking for a suede jacket. I'm good. No, and I'm, I'm looking at this guy who's literally dying of AIDS, and nobody knew Rock Hudson was dying of AIDS at the time. Ah. 
And anyway, he uh, he did this little thing like, uh, yeah, he, he, he definitely he definitely thought I was uh, better looking than the guy he was living with, and that turned out to be the man who inherited all his money. He had a palimony suit. I'm not gay, so I was kind of offended that he was doing that. I don't know. I know that Rock Hudson was gay, and I, you know, I couldn't even believe it was Rock Hudson. I had to, I had to look at him a couple times. No wig. I, I, this is my natural hair, man. Uh oh, we have spillover. We knew this would happen. Okay. Okay. She overdosed it. I'm gonna let you have uh, some quiet time with Sarah while I prepare for the show. I'll be back to start our other show and sign off here. So here she is. It sounds kind of bizarre. It sounds mad at me now. Hope it doesn't get too mad. It's like, no, I'm going to explode. All right. So while they, while David's getting ready for the show, I'm uh, cleaning up. Yes, I did have a wet dish cloth to take care of any spillover. All right, and then uh, I think that's good. I think it'll work out well. You like, I know, the gorgeous waffles, exactly. They make really good. They're really nice and fluffy, especially with the egg whites in them. I haven't tried the one. Yeah, you see a lot of steam. It's steaming. It's letting all the moisture out. That's why it sounds angry. I'm not fixing you a sandwich. I'm fixing you a waffle. Do you like a really light waffle? <laughs> then I should just turn it off. It's probably good. There it is. It's ready. Perfect. All right, David, hold me. David, hold me. Hold on. You caught me in, in the middle of my, uh... Sorry. That's okay. I was in the process of uh, getting ready to, for the show. Okay, got it. Okay. I mean, who has a terry cloth red robe, you know? From Santa. Santa has one. Santa and David, that's it. All right. Fantastic. You want me to email you a waffle? I know, that would be cool. Does anybody have a waffle emoticon? Oh, wait. Ah, Turn it down. Turn it down. And then unplug it. I got it. Drive my hand before I got to plug it. Unplug the, and unplug the waffle maker when you're done. It's really good. 20 years of relationships. 20 years of relationships with different people. Yeah, Scissor Fight deserves a waffle. And Dr. Meow. Well, if it's really good cereal, I would eat the same cereal for 20 years depending on how good it was, if I really liked it. I mean, I think I'll be eating Belgian waffles for 20 years. I love waffles, too. Good to know, Blue Medic, too. That's it, Rocker. You're getting it. Make sure to use those. Make sure you get the... You want to get that whisker, too, or any way to make your egg white. Yeah, because that is really, it was, it, they're really good. Okay, I'm going to clean my waffle maker, make sure it stays nice and clean. And then David says he's, we're going to put them over in, um, we're going to put this in the kitchen and just leave it so that I can always come in and make 
I did. I unplugged the waffle iron. I did that. Gotta unplug it. Fluffy egg whites. That's that's the real key. I don't care what David says about, you know, David always talks about uh, cottage cheese. And I had them once and they're okay, but that's not what makes them fluffy. It makes them moist. I agree, but I don't know about fluffy. Anyway. Well, it is, it was just running into, um, the lid can stay open, like, see, it stays open. I'm not touching it. It was just because we had, had it next to this cabinet, see, there, and so it was running into the cabinet, so I had to turn it like that. I looked taller than David for a minute when I was behind him or in front of him. I think it's all about perspective. Yes. Yes, to be with Sarah, you have to be tall. I am a tall woman. I'm five foot eleven. Wow, she's like a giant. I'm not really I mean I I don't consider myself like a giant, but tall, yes. Those are good waffles. What, 977? Muted and ignored. Sorry that happens. I bet Connie does like waffles. Butter and maple syrup topping, yes. Actually, now that David opened this can of wild blueberries, you can just put that right on the waffle. Like the plain waffle. You just use that as your, as your topping. It's in light syrup and it's so good. Use that as a syrup. No, I won't admit that because I love everybody 977. Okay, I will do that 865. Give her some waffles. Give everybody some waffles. Waffles for dinner. I used to love that. My mom had an old waffle maker, kind of like David's old waffle maker. But it was actually like double the size, and um, that was really good. You know, it might work. It's uh, that that bowl converted on top might just told them, you know. Yeah, that's true. Like cleaned up. Yeah. Okay. Well, uh, so we're at the point where we finished. You could just have some of those. I was telling people you could just have blueberries as your topping, that blueberry syrup. Yeah, that would be great. Tough. I'll have that later. Great idea. Cool. Yeah, I love blueberries. So it's a perfect match. Uh, thank you, everybody. We're uh, we're done. We're essentially uh, we got one, two, three, four, six. five, six, six, except I ate one. So six. You had one. So six waffles today. Make six, six waffles. Six yeah. waffles. Big ones. Thank you. Everyone loves you, Sarah, and they're they're having to deal with me, so I understand. They love you too, David. Well, it's not easy to love two people at the same time. Yes, it is. People have children all the time, and they can love both children. That's true. The Greeks say that there's ten different uh, ways of loving people. Ooh, I do. I, I don't like this. What is it? Oh, it's, it's that foil around it. No, yeah. it has this little. See this little oval. Oh, that's So then the yeah. batter can get stuck. The batter in there. gets in there. We'll wipe that off and soak it in hot water. Later. That's good. I got it out. Okay, I'm going to sign off on this show. Thank you for watching. Bye, everybody. Thanks for watching me making waffles. Okay, we'll see you guys in a bit. Thanks.